Hello and welcome back, this is ProTailDev, back with another uh, Game Jam video, sort of. So, essentially, um, if you didn't see the previous video, um, I actually took part in a Game Jam and started making a game called Crystal Sales. Um, however, unfortunately, due to IRL stuff going on, um, I basically didn't have time to, to finish it or submit it. I was just far too busy to actually get it finished. Um, however, I decided afterwards that I would still work on this game and I would try and stick to a certain amount of time. So, um, the initial game jam was seven days, so I'm going to do this for seven days. Um, basically, the game jam was about a day to two days in um, of work. We're just going to call it one day because that's really all it was. Um, and then I'm going to carry on with this uh, game jam and, and I'm just going to upload it as a normal game onto itch.io to be played. So the idea for this game was to actually work on a sailing game. Uh, so essentially you would have a bunch of islands you could travel to. A, the overall objective would be to collect these crystals and then bring them all to a central island where you're meant to build some kind of beacon to get you off and that would be the finish. Uh, so basically to escape the uh, island. Uh, we'd have a little story uh, around that idea and then there'd be enemies in the water trying to either knock you off the bow or trying to sink you. That would be the whole premise of it. Um, I've never done a sailing game, so this was a, a new thing I wanted to do. Um, and I wanted to add in a little bit of crafting in there, a little bit of uh, building, um, just for the basic. And so uh, to get straight into it, so the first thing I did was actually build the light in on the very basic platform. So this would be the end of day one, let's say. Um, and what we have here is a basic island, uh, we have a boat right here which would be for sailing, uh, we have our dock and we have a bunch of uh, vegetation and things like that. So if I just press play right here, uh, we'll end up going straight into it to show what I've done. So first of all, it's a first person experience, it's a first person game, uh, you can go around and move around and you can jump. Um, and you can get a good idea of what the island looks like. It's very basic. I'm using low poly objects um, You can see all the different mountains around. This is only the only island I've built uh, And then as you can see right here, we got these uh, Vegetation that you can actually interact with uh, specifically just the sticks at the moment. That's all I managed to do uh, What you can actually do is you can pick up the sticks. So if I just um, click on a uh, right click I can pick up um, individual sticks at the moment and that will go into an inventory so if I press Q right here I quickly did a very basic inventory there's actually no functionality apart from the number numbers so the storage um, and then them being displayed in the inventory so you can see up there the top left is sticks and then there's a number one uh, we do have all these little buttons but they're basically going to be interactions for what the object is um, so for example if there's food you can eat it if there's water you can drink it and that was also going to be in this game is the idea of like maybe temperature um, food and water and things like that uh, with all these materials you'll be able to actually craft something and uh, now the crafting is wasn't done at the end of that the first day um, and I did start it on the second day but basically um, going into turn this is the first day let me just activate this and you can see it on here so yeah another really basic inventory so you can see the things that we can craft um, this was the last thing that I worked on before I stopped um, it's basically uh, just a, a simple UI uh, you're gonna have the two icons adding them together with a certain amount and then you'll result in the specific thing you can build so campfire uh, mushroom soup a vegetable uh, dish then you have one uh, sail ship two sail ship and three sail ship uh, and as you can see over here, we've actually got the model for the one sail ship right here, as well as the functionality for actually uh, driving the ship, so actually sailing. Um, if I quickly show what we've got on the left right here, we've got our environment, which is all of our individual things like the dock, actual sail ships, which are actually in the world, they're just deactivated, so until you craft them, they'll just be invisible. Um, they'll just be empty, non-active game objects. Once you craft it, you can then see it. Uh, then we have all of our vegetation and terrain, uh, as well as our water. So I've actually created a reflection probe so that we can actually see the reflection of the sky on the water. 
and it's a little bit dark so it's a uh, it's actually transparent so you can see like the, the underneath you actually have the seabed uh, and another thing is we can actually if I just quickly press play again and if I jump into the water it'll actually teleport us back at the dock so if I just jump in here there you go it teleports straight to the dock now that's not a trigger that's actually just me um, in the code uh, checking the the Y axis of the player but as you can see we can uh, look at the water jump in and it'll just teleport you straight to the dock um, I don't want any kind of health in this game um, I want the health for the um, I want the uh, basically ship damage how much damage you can take and I kind of want the result to be if you lose your ship then you have to sort of start again back at scrap um, back at the beginning make a small boat and then slowly build up again and that's kind of the fear of losing your ship um, as opposed to having a player have health uh, that will be the sort of the thing you can lose and uh, now all of these other extra objects such as flowers rocks everything like that will also be individual crafting items they just don't have any functionality yet but essentially they'll act the same way as stick does so if i just quickly go to um all of our little uh, our foliage right here and we just go into our uh, branches all it is is just a specific tag um a rigid body and a collider and a lot of these have the same thing so we have all of our flowers our logs mushrooms um, we have uh, our fibrous plants of course if I just quickly show the um, ships as well so um, you can see that we've got our script and I'll go over the scripts in a minute for everything that we've got in the game there isn't that many so it won't take very long uh, you can see it's got our rigid body which we use it um, we need a rigid body to be able to control how it moves um, and then you can see right here we've got our basic ship so this is using a pack for sailing boats uh, that you can get from the store um, I, I also want to mention as well that you'll notice that I worked on the environment first um, I did this because a lot of the times when I make game jams um, I'll usually work on the basic code first and then I'll end up doing the environment and a lot of the times it doesn't give me a lot of time to work on the environment with this because the environment was going to be quite large I wanted to be able to create lots of different islands and so I needed a very basic island to work with to, uh, and to start with and I, I also think it gave me a good idea of how the game will look um, going forward it actually took me a little bit to build this island um, with lots of rocks um, and then we've obviously got these mountains which are pretty sporadic and just randomly placed everywhere we will remove them as we go but basically they've just been placed at random they're pretty much just repeats um, and all the same size as you can see going back to the uh, ship you can see our basic script right here this just controls the actual um, ship and um, we've made sure that the rigid body is uh, we've frozen all the rotations because we're controlling the rotations directly and also the Y position is frozen because we're not messing with that but if it hits something we don't want it to actually flip out um, in any way if I control if I just show off the next ship that you can build right here it's our two sails and then our final ship which is the biggest one which is right here which is a proper galleon which is our three sail um, it, each ship has a different type of turning so the first ship is it can turn quite easily however the um, the bigger the ship the slower the turn but the faster the ship is which will be important later when we have enemies that we got either outrun or outmaneuver. So let's say that we've managed to collect all of our different ingredients that we need to craft the first ship. Loads of sticks, loads of logs. Let's pretend we've got lots of different items in our inventory. And with those items, we can now go and craft. So we'll craft at a certain place, probably at the docks or somewhere else. And we'll be able to craft something and uh, let's say our first ship. And then when we craft it, it'll appear right here, our first one sail ship. Uh, we can go on board and then we can just come up here a second and we can go to our wheel. So if I just press E on the wheel, we'll be able to drive it and our camera will switch to our um, ship perspective and we'll be able to actually drive. So if I just press forward right here, you'll see that nothing happens. That's because the anchor isn't raised. If I raise the anchor now, you'll see that we start going forward pretty slowly but we are going forward and we can actually turn so we can turn left or right so as you can see I'm just turning right here carrying on going forward um, and obviously it's very very slow now this is probably too slow 
um, for us but what we'll do is we'll increase the speed as we make the world bigger and determine how far away islands are we will determine how fast these ships need to go and how quick the turn is and so on now as you can see I can just like do a full turn we can keep moving forward and um, yeah that's pretty much it for this sailing that I've done so far now we can press E and jump off and this will actually throw us off and as you can see that's not intentional so you're not going to be able to jump off the ship until it's actually anchored and um, so anchor basically it's going to lock you in but that's not done yet um, in the code as you can see our ship is just going in circles now um, if we just come off here I can actually just show the scripts we have our game manager which is um, going to be our general controls of our game any kind of level control um, obviously there's no code yet but that's usually restricted for much bigger code um, then we have our mouse look um, which is on our camera and that allows us to rotate the camera around um, when we're in first person we have our player movement which uh, controls all of our different um, so if I just go into it in a bit more detail um, you can see it control it hits all of the players controls and interactions at their inputs and um, so bringing up inventory and crafting and being able to control the ship as well as um, driving the ships, all of its functions, um, and also controlling the player's movement of going forward, back, left and right. And it does control a little bit of the trigger for the ships as well, so it determines when you are actually on a ship or not. Of course, what we also have is the ship's controls. This is much more um, to do with the rotation and the speed of the movement, uh, basically interacting with the rigid body on individual ships. So each of the three ships has a ship control and um, that gets all of that information goes to the player movement. Um, but it's specifically right here where we determine what actually happens on individual ships. Then we have the player score, which is all of the items we're picking up, um, all of the stuff that's in the inventory and probably all the items we crafted in our crafting menu. Now this is some really very basic code at the moment. There's not really much to it. Uh, yeah, it is. As you can see just these four scripts of all we've got at the moment and then the script is just not really doing anything yet and it's really about the basic uh, controls and a basic environment on the first day so that is the first day um, it's gonna be an interesting uh, game to work on for seven days because there isn't ex exactly a time limit there isn't the pressure of a time limit and um, I will be doing it in seven days but I, I'm not as um, pressured as I would be to make it amazing as well by because I, I know there's going to be probably no feedback and um, I might ask a couple of people I know to give feedback on the game uh, just to give something but essentially this game will just go up on itch.io for people to play it won't get submitted for a game jam because I just don't think it's very fair to submit it for a game jam when it's not being made in a game jam Okay, so that has been a Crystal Sale. Um, basically, um, keep an eye out for future videos. Um, I'm going to see what I can do with this sailing game. And I'm pretty excited to work on it. So this has been Pro Tail Dev, and I'll see you next time.